Hello and welcome to Fixed GT4 at Olton Park. We are on the International without High Slope layout, I guess is what that means. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. But GT4, cool, right? It's been a while since I've driven this thing. Um, bought it, of course, for K5 Championships Season 2. And, or, yeah, Season 2. Um, and, uh, well, I don't want it to go to waste. I want to get back into this car. Don't want it to just gather dust in the garage, you know? <laughs> so, uh, hop in, hopping into it at Olton Park. I've never done this combo before, specifically. And uh, it had been a while since i driven this thing, but got plenty of practice, and I'm feeling a little bit better. Still could end up with me off in the grass, but... Uh, hopefully not, and uh, unfortunately, we are in a lobby full of people that probably know this car a lot better than I do, and yet we are the number two, so more likely than not, I'm going to get my butt kicked, but oh well, we'll still have some fun with it, so I'm going to practice a start, probably not very good, but at least I won't be sitting still on the grid. I was practicing that as well. Probably important to actually be able to leave the grid at some rate of speed. And we'll see how we stack up in qualifying. The best I got in practice was a 136.4, which was respectable. I think it was fifth in the open practice. But typically what I notice in road racing is the truly fast guys don't need to bother with practice. They can just show up and hit laps that are 10 seconds faster than you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I don't expect to be all too competitive. We'll see what happens. That wasn't very good there, but tire's getting up to temp. It's going to be my excuse for messing up a couple of these corners already. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already missing my marks a little bit. That's a little concerning. Not as smooth as I would like to be, necessarily. But when you don't drive a car all the time, you kind of have to expect that. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Hopefully had a decent run to the line there. Average okay. enough, I guess. Now let's keep it on the track and get a lap in. A little bit of a babyish turn one there. Didn't get on the throttle quick enough. Hey, I hit that pretty well, though, I think. And coming to the fast left hander. Okay, decent enough. Here's where I mess up the lap. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was not very fast, but at least we kind of hit the line. We can try to push a little bit more lap, too. Yeah, I'm just underdriving, and I'm, I'm being a little bit too afraid, or I'm not attacking the corners as much as I could. Well, that kind of thing comes with uh, further comfort with a vehicle. You can really just send it in there, and you know it'll stick. About a second off my optimal, so not terrible. 137.0. Ah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought for sure I was getting an off track right there. Pushing a little bit more this lap. 
and uh, doing so already hurt me in sector one. As usually happens, I say, yeah, I'll push and go a little bit faster lap two, and that's when I end up off the course or just overdriving every corner. Which is ill-advised. Hey, Sector 3 looking good, though. Being a little bit more aggressive through there. Pays off. Don't throw away the rest of the lap. We might have something here. Uh, I'm a little undecisive whether I want to shift into third through there or keep it in fourth. That particular time, it felt like I should have gone to third, but I go back and forth on that. About half a second up on the previous lap, though, right now, still. And hey, we'll stay about there. So what's that going to get us? 136.4, that's an all-time best. All right, good I can pull that off. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Here for qualifying. So fixed series, of course, so we're all on the same setup. Equal playing field, theoretically. In terms of equipment, 135.7 is your pull time, which is better than my optimal. Won't be seeing much of him as he drives off in the distance. And uh, four tenths slower than the 11, despite that being my fastest lap. So I anticipate moving backward this race, since that was the best I've ever done. Right there, and it's still just P4. But we'll try to keep it on track. Hopefully don't get wrecked out. It looks like we have a, quite a few guys within our range right here. Looks like 4th through ninth all have pretty similar times. They could still be waiting on their second lap too, though. And then we have a big drop-off between 9th and 10th. Almost a full second. So that's interesting. We got like this group right here, I think, might be the guys we end up racing. Which includes the one, interestingly enough. The one guy that has a higher road eye rating than me in here. 3.9 for him. And then I am at the 3.6, which is in Mazda's Formula V's, uh, the GR86 and uh, NASCAR stuff that goes on road. So none of those necessarily applicable to the GT4. <laughs> I can probably count on one hand the number of times I've done an official race in this car. Just for context. So we got a minute left, or until the 6, 14, 15, and 19 ready up. Oh, there's one. I think I missed the 10, though. So 6, 14, 15, 19, we're still waiting on them. At least I was able to avoid getting any incidents in qualifying. More than half of the field were not able to stay the same. So, you know, maybe just keep it in on track will be what we need. One thing I'm concerned about, though, one big thing with my inexperience in this car is inexperience racing side by side and having to take, you know, alternate lines and such. In order to make room for my fellow competitors, that could be a time when I end up off the course or braking too hard and get rear-ended because I'm entering too slow, overcompensating. These are the things I'm kind of worried will end up happening. But just gotta go with it, do my best, try to be aware of my surroundings, and hopefully get a nice finish. I qualified fourth. That's much better than I expected. If I get top half of the field, I think I'm happy. But uh, we gotta survive. That's one thing. And also we have to get off the grid. I'm still not convinced that my start's gonna be very good. One to go. Oh, hold on. This is a... Uh, okay. This is a rolling start series? Hey, if uh, you needed proof, I have no idea what I'm talking about. There it is. It's kind of shady out here. It's not gonna be a night race, is it? Because I was not prepared for that, if it is. 7.30 in game, 15 minute race. Should be fine. I don't think the lights are going to go out. Well, the lights would go on. I was talking about the sun going down, but that makes it sound like I'm even more confused than I am. 
our lights would turn on, but the sun would go down. Yep. Be safe. All right. Well, at least that's one less thing I have to worry about is launching from the grid. Pretty sure in the uh, K5 Championship we did standing starts. I remember having to learn how to do that decently enough. Or did we? I think I'm thinking of the GR86 that has standing starts. That I had to learn how to do. Because now that I think about it, I don't think the K5 Championship did standing starts either. I think it did when it had to sometimes, but most of the time it was rolling starts. I don't know. I the memory of a goldfish, so... Who even knows? Except for my archive of videos, I guess. We do have a fast repair, that's good to know. We'll prepare to take that if necessary. Okay. 15 minute race. Should be about, I don't know, 7 laps or so? That's, that's pretty quick. Estimated on race labs about a 15 minute race. Alright. Well, I just realized how stupid I sounded. Race labs estimates a 15 minute race. Yeah, you think? That's how they're doing the time. I just need to stop talking before I reveal even more about how nimrodded I am. I got poo brain. Second gear start? Second gear start? I don't know. Is that first gear start? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to pick the wrong one, I think. See the leader. Okay, there we go. First gear seemed to work okay. I think second gear would have worked just fine too. Right, that guy cleared himself a little bit, but we're fine. I'm just gonna give some room. Might have overbroke that and nearly had the guy in behind me get in, yeah, but we're fine. I'm just nervous, I'm sorry. Alright, this is going to be interesting. First time through this chicane. Decent enough. I made the guy behind me crash, I think. I'm so sorry. I thought I hit that okay, but I think he maybe had to hit the brakes because of me, and then bad things happened. I'm really sorry. If I caused that, I'm not sure if I did or not, but... I did feel like I hit that fine, for cold tires especially. But we have a second behind us now of room. I like having that little bit of uh, comfort. Something I don't have a lot of right now. The cat's leaving me a stinker in the litter box. Appreciate that, Jasper. Love to smell that when I'm racing. This one car is definitely going to catch me. And you know he's going to be fast. So I'm going to make that easy on... Uh-oh! Easy on him. That's a guy ahead of us crashing. That looks recoverable, though. He might be able to get back on track and come back up here, especially if he's much faster. We'll see. If he comes back. Alright, we're holding P3, though, for now. It's about as fast as I took it last time. That's about as good as I think I can hope. Hit that particular turn 
consistently. Chose to stay in fourth there. I think third gear might be the way to go. Get your tires on the grass. I got a little bit close there. The leader has just done a 136, 126. You're now in nice third. Nice one, Colter. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those extra. Leader's driving away. The guy behind has just done a 136, 161. P2's still within our sights for the most part, though. The one is inching closer, as expected. Really attacked that corner that time. I'm lucky that that uh, that I didn't overdrive that. Get a little bit of draft from the 11, that's cool. He's gonna try to break it though. Understandable. Yeah, I am not attacking that corner enough. I went to third that time and I still was not very good through there. Hey, this is fun though. I'm glad I gave this uh, car another visit. Point eight ahead, point six behind at the line. Keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. A little awkward there. I think I apexed a little early. Overdrove that really bad. That was really bad. Had to slow it down majorly in order to uh, not overdrive it. So here we're gonna let this guy go. And this guy's gonna fly up, I guess. I just kind of got in a really bad spot, so we're not gonna try to do too much. I am not experienced in these cars, so. Putting myself in dangerous situations is going to end up poorly. I'll just tell you that right now. So I'm going to be smart about what I do. That's alright though, we're still in P5. That's very good. I'd be very happy with a P5. That's where we end up. Oh, that guy overdrove that really bad. Left side. Still there, hold your line. Back off. Clear. Okay, Colton. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. E5. Didn't want to be side by side through there, and I only barely had the nose on him, so it just didn't seem like it was going to benefit me in any way to keep myself there. that a little bit. Kind of had to break for him. That number four is coming pretty fast. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. That felt like I really should have kept it in fourth. 
was right on the limiter all the way through. I have no idea what to do in that corner. Stay close. Keep the pressure on. Okay, we get a really good run. Car on your left. Clear on the left. We weren't there. Not gonna dive it in on him necessarily. He almost spun it though. Maybe I'm putting the, enough pressure on him. He might make a mistake. Was a little bit wide. I think you can get away with that though here. Not too much time left, about six and a half minutes, a little bit under. It's parking it. Slowing me down a little bit. It's my own fault I let him by in the first place, so I've got to be uh, smart about getting around him. That was really slow through there. The guys behind are catching now because he's being slow. Not thrilled about being too wide through here at all. Thankfully, he backed out. Smart idea, I think. Especially when you're side by side with me. Can we catch back up to 7 Eleven? Oh wow, he takes the scenic route <laughs> on the inside. He cut that way too shallow. I gotta find a way to overtake or else uh, the guy behind is gonna catch again. And then I'm gonna have to deal with that again. Oh my god, he's way too slow in there. Okay, overdrives that we're going in. Don't do this, man. Whoop. He did that, man. I guess it's on me, because I was trying to make the pass. So maybe I should have been the one backing out. That's part of road racing etiquette, I guess. I just don't know. But we'll lose two spots now. This might be white flag we're coming up on. Let's try not to lose any more spots. It is not white flag. All right. Yeah, we still got three and a half minutes. Okay. Estimate was a little bit off. Didn't hit that quite right. either. Oh, have we got a pass attempt, maybe? Weird place to do it. It's just looking. Uh, I didn't turn in quite enough.
Delta, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Whew, this is tough. So light when you get uh, through that corner. Really wants to oversteer on you. Can be a bit scary. That lap was at oh, almost my first off track. Up 12 through that turn. Stuck behind him, though. They side by side up there again, or is this just another look? They were actually side by side. Now the 12 is going to catch him. This could get hairy. Oh! Moving to his inside. Yikes! Catching him fast. Uh oh. This is weird. I'm inside! Turn in on me. That was on him. He turned in on me. P6, white flag. One more to go. Stinks. We get a 2x, but obviously that hurts him more than me. I'll look at it. I'm pretty sure I held my line down there, though. And he just turned in, trying to prevent me from getting there. And I don't think that was worth it for him in the end. But... I'm more familiar with oval etiquette, so if that's like a road racing no-no, please do let me know. We'll take a look at it too, it could have been visually much different than it felt like in the car. That stinks though. Hoping to have like a purely clean race. Now there's something I'm gonna have to look at and consider. But that's gonna be expected when I'm trying to learn something, I guess. P6 right now. Probably where we're gonna end up by the end of this lap. Alright, P6. I'm gonna get out immediately and take a look at that. P6, okay, it's over. Alright, the big flag. Good race, good win. I don't want to say that yet though until. Good luck with you guys. Wait, that was the guy saying good race, right? No, it wasn't. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, he turns in on me. Number four. Uh... I don't know if it's necessarily on me, but I still don't want it to happen. It's kind of a dive, but I was kind of just following the 7-Eleven guy through, you know? So, I don't know. You know, it, this would be a thing in oval racing, but is this a thing in road racing? That's where I could be wrong.
So we'll see if he's angry or if he responds at all. Could that be considered a dive bomb? Maybe. I wouldn't have, I would never do that had I not been following someone through. Okay. First race and shooting when we come in. Yeah, it's good racing with him otherwise. Um, so at least he's nice about it. He's not just like cursing me out. <laughs> so um, maybe it's a dive bomb. He says, uh, it sucks, but it does happen. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll look into it. No problem. Much faster than when I was trying to stand this. True. True. Peace. Again. Yeah, hopefully we have the chance to race again and uh, have better result. So he was nice about it. I appreciate him for that. I'm going to think about that one. Because he's backing out there. I think that probably is a late, a late move for me. Because he's backing out trying to file in. And I was being pretty aggressive to stick my nose in there. So... You know, my, like, what? I guess, what am I even going to do when I get there? Am I even going to be able to hold on to that? I don't know. So, maybe I just have to rethink about how I did that. Maybe I see that, you know, he's having to back off early, come in behind him, and then just try to get a run through the corner. I'm not sure. So, like I said, if anyone is familiar with, um, you know, more familiar with road racing, I'd, I'd like to hear an opinion on that. Um, even if you're not, <laughs> just with the eye test, I'm curious, but, um, glad I apologize regardless. You don't want that to happen. No matter who's at fault, so. Alright, we'll look at, uh, all the rest of the incidents. How did he rate? How did he finish still? He still finished ninth, at least, so at least he didn't, like, have a broken car and end up last. For what that's worth. And, uh... All right, starting over, seeing what else happened. The lap one, turn one, got to figure something's going to happen. Just barely anything there, though. Oh, no. Ouch. That's a tough one. And that is just terrible luck for the 15. Like, that car just shot off of the rubber tires like a bouncy ball. And then there's nothing he can do about that. That's just terrible luck. Here's the guy behind me. I don't think that was my fault. It looks like he just gasses it up a little bit too much and it kind of gets him sideways. So I'm not so sure that was my fault. So that's at least one less thing I did this race. And then, uh... They're going on to make their own mistakes um, against other people. Uh-oh, that's not the road. Why'd you end up over there? Too wide through the that part? Yep. 
I can see that happening. And then they just nowhere near being able to get to the breaking zone, flying off into the distance. A little bit of grass there for the 17. That'll happen. Oh, and I think the uh, 13, trying to avoid him, gets himself spun. Probably breaking a little extra, seeing that happen in front of him, and then ending up uh, sideways. That's just a blink right there. More problems for the 9, it looks like. This time he's finding some grass with his tires. Able to avoid any walls, at least. And moving on. Here's our incident. Yeah. He probably never even saw me coming, uh, if I had to guess. Why is my internet always pooping out after a race? At least it's after the race and not during, but I wish that wouldn't happen at all. Anyway, he's probably not even expecting me to get there. He's probably watching the guy... Oh, we completely lost connection. That's fine, at least we're after the race. How, where, what? <laughs> I'd like to get back to where we were, though. So we can watch that. There we go. Yeah, I won't, I won't dwell on it too much longer, but he's probably watching this guy trying to file in, and then me being over-aggressive sticks it in there, so... I think in the future, I can't treat this like an oval race. Because like I said, like an oval race, you can kind of do that. I think that's less of a thing on road racing, though. So that's what I'll have to change in the future. That's my interpretation of that for now. 15's in the grass and in the tires and in the road and hit by an orange car. Probably not the best place to park. I don't think they had much of a choice about it though. Yeah, they kind of did. They didn't have to stop. Or did they? It's pretty broken. I don't know. Who's to say? I wasn't the one driving. But uh, then we've got... We're in an outage. Yeah, I know. The internet went out. Oh, okay. Yeah, thankfully it was right after the race. Okay. Um, the wife telling me that uh, <laughs> the internet went out, which I appreciate because if I had been trying to sign up for a race, that would have been bad. And uh, that is it. So that's the end of the incidents. I'm glad our internet decided to wait until after the race to go out. Very polite. And uh, we'll get a P6, though, with a bit of a question mark in terms of my racecraft. So... I'll try to learn from it, um, whether I'm learning that, uh, nah, he turned in on me, or if I'm learning that, you know, can't really do that on road. That's a bit of an over-aggressive move. Whatever it is, I hope to learn from it. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the GT4. It's been a while. I sure, I sure did. I enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.